Welcome, Max from Crowdculture. You just shared your story over here at the European Crowdsourcing Week in Copenhagen. Uh, what was the core of your, your uh, message? And the core of my message was to that it's when you are building hybrid uh, investment platforms, like combining public grants with individual donations or reward-based crowdfunding, uh, it's very important to have a dynamic relationship between the fund and the crowd givers and not a static relationship like we always want 50-50 and that, like this because it's predictable but it's actually in the long run more uh, both efficient and more economically good to do have a dynamic relationship because you were also talking about crowdfunding in the cultural sector and also uh, about a, a more hybrid model where the, the crowd uh, gives money and also the, the pu pu uh, public money. Um, can you say something more about this model? Yes, so we've been running this model in Sweden now for six years in, a different, in different county councils. Where right now we have six funds running and uh, they are of different amount and they have different uh, categories of that. Oh, this fund is only focusing on film and this is on a certain geography. And when a person suggests a project, uh, a civil servant mm -hmm. says if it's okay or not uh, for the fund to co-invest in this, if it's all right to co-invest, it will be the crowd funders that define if it will get money from the public sector or not. So the civil servant can never say yes or no to a project. And this is in order to open up the debate about what is quality and what is not quality. Because the media and cultural feed is so broad, it's impossible for one individual to see it all. So what you're doing is, 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 is like inventing a new way of how uh, also public money has to be spent in culture. Because uh, uh, so it, it, it's, it's a new way of how uh, the subsidy system can be renewed. Is that uh, how I can exactly. look about it? Exactly. I, I, I see it as a complementary system. The, I, I believe truly that it's important with certain focus areas where experts take the decision for artistic research or so on. But for certain things, it's, I think it's really good if the citizens are involved because if culture is supposed to be sort of the yeast in the bread of what makes society work and not just a kind of cream on top uh, it has to be yeasted yeah. <laughs> and, and this is what's, uh, what we're trying to do. And is it possible to make th 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 this one model where uh, at one side the crowd participates but also the experts uh, so that the crowd can help the experts and the expert can help the crowd? Yes, I, there is a great example from uh, uh, Great Britain that the Channel 4 Foundation ran a couple of years back which was called the Big Art Project, which was about public art where you as a citizens got a vote to where money should be invested but you could only do this if you took a course from a curator and an historic art historian and, and that way you got around the idea that immediate taste, like, oh, I like this, I, I don't like that. And it becomes something a little bit more profound. Yeah, yeah so, they were, uh, so, they, so they were educating, but also uh, 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 getting the crowds uh, involved by this, this, this kind of courses. Exactly. Yeah. So but we run a lot of education connected to, to what we do. And, uh, and this is, of course, a very important aspect of it. And, but then the education actually leads to that uh, a real effect of your involvement. Yeah, it's very interesting. But what, uh, because now, uh, 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 how do you prevent that, that only popular uh, propositions uh, will be funded and not the more niche, uh, mm. where, uh, where only a small audience is interested in? But th this was, many were uh, scared about this when we launched the system in 2009 and I said I don't think this will be a problem because populistic initiatives they have normally their funding structures built up already mm. like we have something that is really lightweight theater in Stockholm they would never take the effort of running a crowdfunding campaign to do this because they make so much more money on the model that they already have so basically they don't exist on the platform yeah. I would say it's oh, rather much more niche things that have a little bit harder time getting through and so on. That's the, the type of project that gets attracted. Very interesting. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.